What's good, YouTube? It is your favorite trucker's favorite trucker. It's your boy, Ghost. I'm coming to you from Riverside, California. Um, we're out here getting unloaded um, at this egg farm, and then we're about to head over and pick up our next load so we can do our usual thug dizzle for the week. Um, thought I'd drop this video today to speak on non-disclosure agreements. Um, you guys probably don't know what they are. They're called NDAs, non-disclosure agreements. Um, basically what it is, Kaya, hey, hey, stop, stop. Basically what it is, um, is basically where, say if you have drivers or something, well, I'm gonna just give y'all an example of why I, why I um, started doing them. Basically, it's just legal protection to keep all your trade secrets and stuff that you know goes on within the company it keeps you basically protected from people going out on social media dragging your company name or your name so you know i make everybody that i do business with um any type of business i make them sign non-disclosure agreements why because it protects me from people bashing my name, dirtying my name up, and just doing the most. Um, even though, you know, it wouldn't, it won't stop people from doing it, but it kind of debtors people from, you know, doing it. Because, you know, some people are just ignorant. They'll do it anyway because they don't give a damn. But for me, I, I actually started doing it after I had a situation where somebody got on Facebook and dragged the shit out of my company's name and me. Um, which I should have had them do it. Um, my mentor actually told me to make everybody do it, but you know, I didn't listen. And then, you know, I had to pay for the consequences. Um, basically they just got on the internet and just drug my company still hogging and my name all over the internet. Um, didn't really do much, but it's just the fact that come on now, like this shit is petty. It's immature. And we all adults out here, you know? But, you know, they got people that are just immature as hell and they rather get on Facebook or jump in these trucking groups and, you know, just drag your name. Like most people do with these mega carriers when something don't go their way or when they fuck up. That's usually the time when people drag the most is when they fuck up and then they're bitter and salty because they messed up. Not, not taking into consideration that, you know, their actions... Um, can basically be the cause of how somebody else eats and how somebody else supports their family can be the cause of the end of that but you know nobody really cares about that everybody only cares for themselves so you know after that situation i was like you know what um i talked to my lawyer about it he even told me the same thing he was like man you should have just had everybody sign ndas and then you know we could have basically uh went to town on them but didn't do that, so had to learn that lesson. Take that ill. So, you know, it is what it is. And then even then, when it comes to taking people to court, um, like for me, if it's a civil, like a small claims matter, to be honest, it really depends. Like, you really got to weigh that if you really, like, for instance, I had a, a owner op. I gave him a, a little scanner thing that basically scans trucks and... You know, I could use it. I paid like four hundred dollars, four fifty for it. I think it was like four ninety after taxes. And I let him use it just to use it because his truck kept having issues, and you could reach in the truck and do everything else with it. And I let him use it because he was going to Texas. This man decided that um, that magically it disappeared. Um, it magically disappeared, and you know, instead of being a man about the situation. Um, and just being like, you know what? I messed up. Here's the bread. Because I even sent him an even cheaper alternative so I could, you know, get my little reader back. And this man just didn't do, he didn't, he didn't basically do right and do business right. And I told myself, I had to swallow that and take that L because I'm like, I'm not about to chase this owner operator for $450. Like an owner op, somebody that makes damn near a thousand to like twenty five to three thousand a week if you can't pay me back my four hundred and fifty dollars you ain't shit at the end of the day so i was i'm gonna just take that l and just not fuck with people like that no more 
Same situation happened with me with some fuel. I had a driver, a owner, another owner op, basically uh, use my fuel card. And what I should have did, but I was being nice, I should have held his check for 45 days. So then I would have took my fuel money out of that check. But, you know, everybody was in hard times. And I figured, you know what, let me just pay the man because I'm going to go off his word. Now, I learned from that, too. The man didn't pay me. Um, basically, he owed me like 450 bucks. And Vic, if you're watching this video, you know exactly who I'm talking about. And the shy one, you too. Y'all know who I'm talking about. That man ain't shit either. So after that, I told myself, I said, I'm good. Like, I'm all the way cool on people. From now on, I'm doing everything straightforward, by the book. Um, everybody getting not NDAs and just the whole nine yards because... You know, it just keeps me legally protected when it comes to people trying to bash my name and bash my company. Because at the end of the day, you only have really your business and your brand is everything. And you got to protect it at all costs. So that's why I highly recommend having people fill out NDAs. Um, and it's simple. I went on Le uh, Rocket Lawyer and it took, what, like maybe 45 minutes to draft up one. Like that really went into super detail about everything that, you know, I, you know, wanted to, I didn't need other people trying to disclose, like when it comes to how my companies run, accounts that I had, um, just basically protecting me so that if once they left, that you, you can't bash my name and you can't try to steal my work and my business from underneath me. Because if you do, I'm gonna come back at you with a, a with the, the wrath of hell. So, you know, even though there's still ways of getting around that, um, but I mean, it is what it is. At least, you know, you covered your bases. Uh, that's why I add it to all my contracts. That's with anything. If I'm renting you something, if I'm uh, employing you, if you're gonna be a subcontractor, if you're gonna be a contract carrier, everybody's filling out one because I don't got time to be on, look on social media, and then everybody nowadays is trying to clout chase and know nobody's got time for that we all grown-ups out here you know I got a family to support I got you know my own wants and needs and stuff that you know I have to take care of so it just keeps you like gives you a, a sense of protection um, and yeah that's really it so you know I hope you guys learned something from this video and love peace prosperity and I will catch y'all on the next one Deuces.